Good morning. Why don't you stand up for me? We'll sing this together. You wrestle with the sin is hot. Let's put our hands together. You lead us by still waters and to mercy. And nothing can keep us apart. So remember. So remember your Sometimes in our lives, we find ourselves uh, in a place where we're like, how did I get here? Uh, I grew up in Minnesota as a Vikings fan, and God led us to Wisconsin a couple years ago, and how, I don't know how I found myself in the land of Packers. Um, so we quickly decided to switch teams, and we became Packer fans. So yeah, that was a wise choice, right? Pastor Chris is talking about that. That was a wise choice we made. Uh, but you know, how did we end up here in Wisconsin? I don't know. Sometimes you find yourself in a place, and you don't know how you got there. And that's kind of where we are in our life right now, and just kind of figuring out, God, where are you leading us next? Uh, so I've been thinking a lot about that, and, and in the, the Hebrew word for guidance is the same word as a rope. And it's this idea that the, the ancient sailors used to use ropes to navigate their ships. They would raise the sails and lower them and, and tell the boat where to go and how fast to get there. And God's guidance is a lot like that. One truth I'm learning is God's guidance is more something he does than something he gives. And he guides us, he shapes us, he molds us, uh, just like those ropes. Uh, he tells us where to go, how fast to get there. For some of us, it's much slower pace because he's working on us. 
I've been thinking about in the Old Testament, Joseph, how, you know, he was falsely accused. He was thrown into prison. I was after being in a pit. And he waited, waiting on God. And we're going to sing this song. It says, give me faith. And I just picture Joseph in prison waiting on God and saying, God, I don't have faith enough. I need you to give me your faith. And the beautiful thing is that we can say that prayer to God. It doesn't matter how much faith we have. It, it matters who we're putting our faith in and in, in God alone. And this song, I love when it says, though my flesh is weak and it may fail, but God is strong and, and he is our salvation. So this morning, we just want to spend some time singing to our God, responding to his greatness. And wherever you're at, maybe life has thrown you a curveball. I encourage you just to reach out to our God because he's faithful and true and, and he'll be with us. So let's continue on as we sing this morning.